I want to take a little bit of time, if you don't mind, and share with you harmonic mechanism for the mind number 22. It's going to be very brief, and I'm going to try to tie together a few ideas that I think are important, and I hope that you might think about and integrate and keep with you throughout the days as you play. The first is that in, a, in many ways, playing music is like a vacation. You're getting to sit with an instrument that you love and pursue sounds that you want to create. And I'm hoping that in those moments of playing, there can be a real gratitude for the fact that you're able to do it. And I'm going to caution against striving always to think that you play better or that maybe someday you'll play better or to be harsh on yourself or critique yourself harshly. It's missing the appreciation part, which is, I would hope that the love of music would drive you to really enjoy all the time that you spend with your instrument each day or whenever you get to play. Really enjoy it and not be thinking about relentless striving and wanting to be something you feel that you're, that you're not as of yet. Tying that in with the idea of seeing if there's something that you can serve past your own needs in music. So that might be thinking about the audience and what they might like to hear or how you might want them to feel when you play, how to bring a feeling out of your heart and share it with them rather than just guitaristic kinds of thinking of, am I being impressive or I don't know what the process would be. Uh, Am I good enough? Do people think I'm good? Uh, I hope this gig gets over soon. All those kinds of things. Uh, to really have something that you're serving that goes beyond just your own uh, circle of concern. I remember a quote from Carlos Santana. He talked about when he played. He often has really good quotes. Uh, when he played, he would try to think of the kind of sensitivity and attention he would need to take the tangles out of his daughter's hair and that if he was too rough, it would hurt her and she would cry. So that kind of attentiveness, he was serving that sensitivity in him, serving the sensitivity that you need to not hurt a young child with their tangles. And if you can get perhaps a little closer to that in your music, and in your conception of why you're doing things, I think you'll find that there's a kind of recycling of energy and enthusiasm, and you're then playing and living for something beyond yourself. So that's a good good question, is what do you serve past your own desire just to play guitar and play music? What is it actually serving in your life? These are good things to think about. I don't know if I've made my point very clearly here, but uh, I would exhort you to really enjoy your time with music. I hope my channel can be a part of that. If you do have questions or comments, please do let me know, and I wish you, as always, a very good day.